Hi, this is Nell Foster for eHow.com and today I'm going to show you how to take a cutting of a sedum. I have many sedums in my own front yard and I'm going to start here with sedum angelina. It is a fairly common ground cover as you can see. It started as just one small plant and it is spread all over the place. This is a tiny one. I'm going to take this right down here on this stem and I'm going to get it as long as I possibly can. There's a few little new ones coming on here and then I'm just going to take those off. going to clean up the cut and this one because the stem is so small you can probably just put it back in the ground if you want to or in a pot or you can let it heal off for just a week. A lot of succulents you have to let them heal off a, lo a lot longer but this one is actually such a small stem you don't have to worry about that. And if you wanted to get a two to four inch plant then you would probably want to take at least probably about eight cuttings of these, eight cuttings to, just to get a good a good size plant going on it. And what you would do is you would put it in a very light mix like a cactus mix or, or you could put it in um, um, a, a light organic potting soil that would be good too and then you keep it dry for a while before you actually give it some water because you want them to um, stay dry so they can really heal over. And the next one I'm going to show you is the burrow's tail sedum and that one um, is a trailing sedum. I'm going to go in and take another cutting here right here Here's a, here's a nice good size one and a, a lot of the leaves have already fallen off for me. So you just pull them off here and I'm going to leave this part here and then you'll... I always do my cuttings at an angle, that's how I learn so I always do it that way. And then I would just let it heal over a bit and then you are ready to plant this burrow's tail sedum again. I'm going to show you how to take a cutting of one more sedum. This one is sedum pork and beans or jelly bean sedum. And these are floral snips. I use them to take cuttings of things that have smaller stems that, that, that aren't quite as thick. I don't need to use these on um, these. This is another kind of a succulent and I would use these on these because as you can see this is they, this Kalanchoe has a really big stem. But for this one this works just fine and I would highly recommend for you to have your your clippers as clean and as sharpened as possible because it's better for the plant, makes a much cleaner cut and it is so much easier for you to do also. So I'm going to take a cutting of this one which oops yes you just can kind of knock off the dead leaves here and I go into back here and I'm going to go in all the way and I'm going to take it down to where it started. And because I'm probably going to put it right back in here, I'm going to cut it to like here. And as you can see, this one already has some roots on it, but I'll just, I'll just stick it right back in there and it's going to help to fill the plant out. And here's one in the back I'm also going to take to show you. I'm going to go all the way back in. And there's one there. And as you can see, that one has ones there. So on this one, you can even do this because they are so easy to root, I can just lay this in the soil here and it will just root actually even there too. This is Nell Foster for eHow.com and I have just shown you how to take a cutting of a sedum.